блокирован одним подготором Светится оружие топы ментов ФСБ аргумент МВД аргумент по России один Nadia and Masha, two members of Pussy Riot, who came to bring attention to being prisoners of conscience and who were imprisoned for their non-violent rhetoric and protest of Russia's policies and leader Putin, were arrested in Sochi surrounding the Olympics for suspicion of theft. They were eventually let go, but many feel that the government is trying to slow down the group's activities with so many foreigners in for the Games. The group just released a video for Putin Will Teach You How to Love, which was scheduled for a press conference debut at an area hotel before the building canceled it at just the last minute, claiming a water pipe was broken. The press conference instead happened just outside the hotel. While in the USA, the girls talked about the Olympics. As well as we know, the position of the American political leadership towards the Olympic Games, it's something like a boycott. But, of course, we're talking here about the political leadership, not about U.S. citizens uh, who will, of course, be in Russia during these games. It's important to make a statement towards these people, American citizens, who will be in Sochi. We would like for Americans to really look at Russia and see Russia beyond uh, the images of Olympic objects and buildings. These objects have no relation to Russia. They are foreign objects in Russia. The only thing which connects these objects to the country is taxpayer money which has been stolen and which has been used to build up these Olympic objects. The video features the girls performing with a backdrop of Sochi Olympic signs with officers whipping them with chains likely to disperse the punk band.